What is up, my babies? I hope you are all doing wonderful today. Got some awesome hype to share with you. Devil May hype. That is what's going on right now. This shit looks sick. Always an awesome collab to have when you actually played that game and really enjoyed it. I even played some of the sequels to it. It was just dope. It was always fun. Great character design. Can't wait to see exactly what they do with him. Looks amazing. Um, so while we're talking about collabs, and I'm done doing dailies even at this point. I'm saving everything uh, just so I can hopefully at least score Dante. Uh, so yeah, that would be nice. I would suggest everybody do the same thing. I actually, if I would have known there was a collab right now, right after Labette, hmm, you know what, maybe, uh, it's not going to matter, it's not going to matter, I'm probably going to clear it anyway, just being real with you folks, just because I love the collabs, the collabs are the number one things I go after, because they're the most limited, we don't always know if they're going to come back, speaking of collabs, while we're on this awesome subject, by the way, we get this devil demon awesome looking thing to fight, looks dope, and I'm sure the rewards are great, while we're on the topic of collabs, which is really why it's a, it's a driving force be, behind my love for Last Cloudio, right? You take the good with the bad, and some of the good is definitely the collabs and how the characters play. I always dig it. I love it. Uh, what collabs would you guys want to see in Last Cloudio uh, that you think we might actually even have a chance of somehow getting? Now, I know one, the one I'm going to vote for right now and nominate, you guys can just leave me a comment, let me know what you want, but my number one thing, I would really love to see a Bastard collab, and I will give major effing props to any gotcha game that actually does a Bastard collab with Dark Schneider and his Dark Elf lover, Arshus Ney, Badass Mage, and crazy, I mean, just the... The builds would just be phenomenal. He just is such a badass character. And for anybody that doesn't know what Bastard is, look it up. Uh, studio made, I think it was like four parts to the Bastard series. Absolutely phenomenal for its time, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking like back in the Ninja Scroll days for any of you out there that are familiar with anime at all whatsoever. Dark Schneider did live on. Bastard did live on as a manga. It's still popular. From my understanding, it's still being made to this day, but last time I checked into that was, like, obviously a few years ago. Sure, it's still going strong. Dark Schneider is just that badass of a character. The guy literally just wanted to take over the whole world, and he pretty much did. And when they finally managed to ask him, like, why are you doing this? Why are all these people dying? And he's like, well, it's pretty easy. Like, once I take all over the world, all the women are mine. And that was, his, that, was his, that was his that was his reason. And the ninja master that was trying to kill him just went mad over that shit. He was like, what? <laughs> Seriously, for that? Yeah, yeah, he actually uh, ran a campaign to literally take over the world just to keep all the women to himself. This is, this is the guy we're talking about here, Dark Schneider. And he is a very colorful character. Always thought he would make an awesome collab character. Um... So anybody that gets a chance, watch it. It's old. It's going to be just a little cringe and cheesy enough to be great. Because uh, you got to figure, this is like early 80s stuff. Uh, the studio that originally made it, they went under. But like I said, the manga company kept going. Um, I was really hoping that another company would pick up you know, where they left off. Because there's just so much awesome anime they could make off of that. And I would definitely watch all of it. But for now, a collab is welcome in any one of these games. And you guys let me know which collab uh, you would fancy, right? And if you want a good watch, go check out Bastard. It is definitely some awesome anime history and definitely one of my favorites to this day. It really takes me back to when I was a kid. Because this is like when we didn't have access to anime. Like, you were getting bootleg VHS crap and you were trying to piece stuff together and it was wild, it was bizarre. <laughs> there were people making mad money off of... Uh, bootlegging anime because there was such a niche market for it and you just couldn't find it. VHSs were like 45 effing dollars you, you, for some bootleg anime. Yeah, it's been ridiculous. Trigun used to be impossible to get. But hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm letting my inner nerd out a little bit. I mean, this is the Mobile Gamers Unite channel. Anime should go hand in hand with it. Most of these games that we're playing are animated AF. Most of these collabs we get are from badass animes. We love it. We dig it. That's why I'm here. So, um, if you don't like it, well, good sir, good miss, 
you could always click off, just saying. But yeah, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, let me know what would be good for you, what would tackle, tickle your fancy and make you happy. Um, and, and come on, think outside the box, guys, on this one. Don't just give me a stereotypical anime that you like. Think of something rare. Think of something kind of old and rare that you really thought was a good one-off, that you really enjoyed. Uh, let me know, leave me a comment. I'm really curious to know. I'd like to know what the spread is on this. So yeah, and then we look forward to uh, Devil May Cry, and I will cry if I don't have enough lapis. I got 4K right now, and man, I don't even think I really have bundles to buy after. Yeah, what are you going to do? That's first world, you know, problems. Uh, I did just wail in Langrissi, just because I can, so, uh, but it's a lot different in that game. I can wail in Langrisser off of, like, $20, $30, plus some grinded out resources, uh, I might actually have to try to grind out some resources for Devil May Cry in this because resources are a lot more pricey in, Land in Last Claudia and it's just harder to clear a banner, but we'll have to see, uh, especially with my track record over in Land Grisser. Um, it's going to be a lot more cutthroat in Last Claudia, so I'm telling everyone right now, even if you were maybe pulling for Sword Engineer, Sword Engineer, you know, Bloody Blue, uh, and you did not get her yet, maybe just cut yourself off right now. I'm just trying to give you guys some real advice for any free to plays out there that have been trying their luck with her. Maybe just save everything right now until Devil May Cry. I'm I'm going to tell you right now, Devil May Cry characters are going to be stronger than Lebet. And you guys can argue this with me. I, she's still going to have an awesome niche for Earth, and maybe if that's specifically what you really, really need, but I would concentrate on those characters. They're probably going to be more powerful. They're going to be badass and unique so we'll have to see where they go i'm excited that's my official word on it it's the best advice i can give you want to argue about it sure bud leave me a comment um no I'm, I'm just kidding i don't i don't i don't need anybody attacking me over my dumb opinion i drop plenty of imos to guys just let you know that's just my general broad opinion and that can be changed and i have plenty of people on here that change my opinion all the time and on that note seven minutes 15 seconds ladies and gentlemen y'all have a good night and look forward to this collab.